Seddon Ball was forced into retirement in August 1984 in a Soviet-sponsored move. Officially on the account of his old age and mental weakness, but it's likely because of his opposition to the Sino-Soviet rapprochement that began with Leonid Brezhnev's Tashkent speech in March 1982. In 1925 Seddon Ball was one of the first students in the newly organized public school in Nalangam, graduating in 1929. He spent nine years between Irkutsk and Ulanuda, learning Russian and, obtaining a degree from the Siberian Finance and Economics Institute. Seddon Ball and his supporters intended to foster rapid industrialization even with Soviet opposition. But at the same time, they were clever enough to express loyalty to the Kremlin and portray critics as, pro-Chinese factionalists, and nationalists. His foreign policy was marked by efforts to bring Mongolia into close cooperation with the USSR. But Seddon Ball and the other party leaders weren't happy with the economic role that the Soviet leadership assigned to Mongolia. At the time of the Sino-Soviet split, Seddon Ball firmly sided with the Soviet Union. Today in Mongolia, he is remembered for successfully maintaining a path of moderate socialism during the Cold War. During his time as head of state, Seddon Ball submitted requests for the incorporation of Mongolia into the USSR on eight occasions, but these proposals were always rejected by the Soviet leadership. In 1939, Seddon Ball returned to Ulaanbaatar and worked as a deputy minister, and then as the Minister of Finance from 1939 to 1940. A statue of Seddon Ball was built in 2000 on the plaza in front of the National Drama Academic Theatre which has since been renamed to Seddon Ball Square.